What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki Quickie, we're taking a look at something new from the Bandai Figward Zero line. And it is from Demon Slayer, and it is the pig god himself. God, Lord of the Mountain, whatever. I forget. It's a Nosuke. It is what it is. Oh, I just realized I gotta fix my white balance. Okay. So, it's the new Nosuke statue. You know, we did some Demon Slayer statues quite a while back, but it's a new one. Pretty cool. Nice blue box. Got some, you know, some gold foil there. You know, authenticity. And come around here. Got a nice shot of it there. Hey, I mean, why, why even bother doing the whole review, right? That, that pretty much covers it. Come around to the back. And you got even cooler stuff. You got Moon. And you got Sushi Sushis. And uh, you can swap his faces out, which is fine and dandy. Uh, you got Figwarts, easy to collect and cool style, correct? Sales outside of Japan only. Well, damn. All right, and then come here, uh, Hashibira Inosuke Beast Breathing. And you come to the bottom, and you got warnings and such, and blue fin labels and all that mess. So let's get him out here and see how cool he is. All right, guys. So you know what time it is. It's turntable time. Alright, so if you are a channel member over on the main Choki channel, which nobody is, so nobody saw the video where I actually took this out of the box and did some pre-assembly and stuff like that, and played around with it and got my first initial reaction. If you are interested in that, by all means, go over to the main Shoki Reviews channel, check that out. Also, I've got a vlog going to be coming up sometime soon on this channel uh, about how I had to redo the Shoki Cave a little bit and where my review set now lies. If you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button down below. If you're interested, also new merch available in the Shoki store. Just mentioning it now while the uh, turntable is spinning. So let's go ahead and get them off of here and look up close and check them out. Okay, so looking at them kind of up close, you know, through the zoom. Um, yeah, he's really cool. He's got the nice boar head with the crazy eyes. Also, guys... Uh, these are actually very, very pointy. Uh, be careful. <laughs> but they they definitely captured the eyes. He's got the pink snout. Got the little tuskies sticking out through there. So let me turn down this real quick. I'm going to see some of the subtle shading on the arm. All his bare skin, especially back here on the back. You really see the shading. It's pretty cool. There's a light airbrushing layer on top of the uh, fur around his kind of skirt going on there. And then even his pants have some highlights there. That's not just the light itself. It is painted with some highlights. Even down here on his ankle, a little brighter. Of course, his foot is a little bit wonky, but it is what it is. I like the translucent parts here. They're pretty cool. Even the base is translucent, but uh, painted to look like dust kicking up is pretty awesome yeah and uh there was some tiny bit of assembly you did have to insert this particular sword into that hand which is incredibly small and annoying so let's go ahead and yoink his head off and yeah like i said that's that is not attached by much like the hole it goes into is barely the size of that so while his swords are cool, and you do capture that whole serrated edge and, like, razor wire edge that he's got going on there. You do do that. Now, we do have his human head, which is definitely captured properly. He's got his yellow eyes, pretty face, like, very girl-looking face, and his shaded hair, which looks pretty cool. I'm not... Let's see here. Where are my lights? There we go. And the head is keyed to a certain direction, so it can only go on the one way. Just be careful like that. The freaking sword blade is resting against his head. All right, so there we go. So, it, you know, pick your poison, whichever one you want. Personally, I'm definitely going with the beast head. It looks better, in my opinion. But overall, it still looks fantastic. Of course, he's jumping while doing this. He's not just uh, standing still. 
And it's pretty good. I think the only thing that looks a little bit weird is that this shoulder here is actually super bright for some reason. Like, there's no shading on it. I don't know if that would be accurate or not. But either way, Inosuke is pretty much one of everybody's favorite characters from the show because he is freaking weird. You know, he's incredibly powerful, but also very strange. Um, you know, the whole idea of him not really understanding how normal people work growing up on a mountain somehow as like an orphan. Ow, pointy. And like apparently killing the um, king or mountain lord, which was the... the boar that now adorns his head seriously this does not stay in i hesitate to glue it because uh it wouldn't be quite right now for comparison because it is a demon slayer statue uh, guys I have to be careful when i say demon hunter i know it's two separate things so here in the original tanjiro statue we got significantly more stuff going on but still pretty cool I left the uh, Nezuko behind. Now we do have a new Tanjiro coming up. Very soon. So make sure you look forward to that. Uh, but either way, this one is still really good. Except I'm, I'm, I'm still not too keen on the painted flames. If I'm honest with you. i got to set that down carefully. I don't want it to fall. But either way, I picked this up at Big Bad Toy Store. Pretty good place to actually get some Figwarts stuff. So if you're remotely interested, by all means go check them out. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Just freaking cool. But that's going to be it for this quickie, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Remember, as always, keep on breathing, I guess. <laughs> Beast breathing. I don't know if that was a good laugh or not. Bye, guys.